What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are now moving on, and we've entered Hogwarts officially. I mean, Gryffindor House. Uh, that's what the, the, the hat gave us. Uh, it can obviously go out to the other three houses as well. just depends on what you choose. Um, this looks stunning. This looks really nice. Like, just the textures, just like... And how the light's bouncing off different textures is just, oof. It's so nice. But anyway, hopefully you're enjoying this series. Obviously, we're now on part two. Protego. That's not the... That we don't leave that way. Wait. Can I just... Oh, we just walk out of it. Wow. Oh, I'm like a kid. Please tell me there's like rotating stirs and stuff. Just the music as well. It just makes it so... Magical. <laughs> So we've only got the one spell right now, and I believe we have slept, so obviously we should be able to go to class at some point. Well, yeah, we don't go into this room. Uh, wait, maybe we do go upstairs. I'm guessing we do. Now, which way is the common room? That's what I'm trying to find. It does seem to be this way. all the pictures moving as well i'm not gonna lie what i've seen so far avalanche have done well this is the first major game level one unlock <laughs> must be different starting hogwarts in your fifth year yeah they're talking about me this So lucky they didn't end up as dragon food. Like that poor man. They're all talking about me, aren't they? Can't imagine starting new Look at this. A little room, everyone. A little, little, room. Room. little rebel up there. What's she doing? Just balancing. Introduce yourself to uh, Cressida. Cressida? Still not working. Who's this? Hello. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Yes. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? <laughs> oh, yes. Every Having time I see my name trouble, at the bottom. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I'm sure you'll Don't get worry. it. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. How hard is it to cast a non-verbal spell? Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. <laughs> He was not happy. <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. The thing is as well, being British, this, I think is going to be more understandable to obviously British people, right? Like for Yorkshire puddings and all that. Like, like she's on, on it, right? So there's going to be some Do things that a lot, a lot of people might know. Properly. Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, well good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Cressida. Enjoy your first day. That's Cressida. Oh, the stuff I can just interact with. Sorry. My first day. 
Okay, so that. How do I get up there? Nelly will do anything for What are you doing? If I get caught, I she gets bolder every year. Ah. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> is it? Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Um. So we don't want to talk to him about the goblins, right? Uh. It is true, but I, uh, uh, we handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. For fearlessness. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Nice to meet you. Uh, what are people saying about my travels here? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Mm -hmm. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. As long as they don't talk about goblins. And, you know. I fine. take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm. It's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. <laughs> but with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'm looking forward to getting a broom and just kind of exploring and just flying around. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Okay. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Oh, she's going back up there already. Oh. Oh. Was grabbed an apple. Who's this guy? Here, have a sip. Go on. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. I was just about to ask that. Uh, that must be nice. Then you can do whatever... No, that must be nice. It must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Matilda. What's that in your mug? Do you have a knack for potions too? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh... Creativity as much as you might think. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. Yeah. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure I'm guessing to we're, we're gonna well. see a lot more Good of today. these three. Uh not the main quest. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Oh. New Gryffindor. I like how we've got to creep out this little tunnel. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Indeed. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. 
Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Ooh. Here you are. What is this? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Walk with me and you'll see... This way. The world of pure imagination. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. It's kind of like it'll give me a little the guide boost, right? Will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I wonder how big the interior is. And I'm wondering ah, how easy it is to get lost. I have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. My God! Simply cast Ravelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Lumos. Oh no. Ravelio. That's it. Portrait of Barufio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir, and he's an example of what happens when incantations or improperly spoken. He once said instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. <laughs> You've just done lots of field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Good to know. Field guides, uh, option field guides. Field guide challenges are only way to acquire experience points or XP, uh, well, experience points or XP, okay. Open a field guide. Yeah, this is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges. Okay. Your field guide tracks your current uh, challenge progress. Select the challenges. Okay. Oh, boy. If you're a completionist, this is going to be crazy. Collecting your first guide unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Oh, and we get new stuff. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts and you get a gear, uh, some gear appearance reward. Hogwarts re regalia spectacles. Oh. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards uh, that you've unlocked. Oh. Now we've just got to find the, the guides, the little pages. Clever. Wait, does that mean I can... Rebellion. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. We got locks and everything on the doors. No time to waste. A chest. Classes to attend. Thirty-four gold. Okay, I'm guessing we'll be able to use that once we get to uh, the town. Maybe ah, oh good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit. Quickly. Blue flame Blue Your Flames field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. 
and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Okay. Select the south wing region to continue. Okay, south wing. In this view, you can see the flu flames available at this region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common rooms. Grey flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. So then we've got down here the library annex. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use the R to go onto it. Okay. And we can just click that and travel. Oh, so we can fast travel. Ooh. Good to know. But I think I do want to obviously run around and explore that as well. And here we are. Wow. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Wow. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. There's a big massive dragon up Always on the... Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. That's true. Uh, can you tell me more about the Charms class? I wonder how long this game took to develop. What will I learn in Charms that was class? Coming to my head. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, oh. Charms, Jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining Ronan. Wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? We kind of know this. If you've watched the films, you kind of understand it. You know. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' Professor education Hecate. in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. Or a wand, you or a broom. Also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay, cool. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. <laughs> he did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, <laughs> Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. The field guide today. map. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I definitely want to get some supplies. I definitely want my broom. 
I definitely want my wand. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get Patronus through the Dark Arts or whatever, but... It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Mm-hmm. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. The completed main quest of the story unlocks, okay. The field guide map shows Professor Hecate's class is in the lowest section of the astronomy wing. You can get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass, uh, which is up on the directional pad in the field guide to help me. Okay, okay. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to the, the, have the required level or the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professors, assignments, or as a quest reward. I kind of like that. I like how you have to do your classes, you know, to advance. Defense against the dark arts. Rewards, Levioso. Or do we go to Charmed class and learn Akio? Okay, we can go with Akio. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy yes. Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Nice. So we're going to Charms class now and quest complete. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's your waypoint. It literally opens a book and... That's clever. That is clever. We get to just have a walk around this place now and do stuff and go to class. Oh, this is nice. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Flu Flames. Oh. Ah. Uh, so the Flu Flame kind of lights itself. What's this? Revelio. Okay. The Butterfly. Lumos. Ooh. Nice. Revelio. So are we unlock that though? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna get fascinated by so much stuff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love it, man. Imagine going here in real life. How cool would that be? 
I love how it's just showing me this track of where we need to go and my objective so we can focus on that. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind Oh, here we go. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Hello. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Nettie. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor. It reminds me of the candlestick from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Right. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. Akio. That's My, what he just did. The seven months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? What have these been doing for the last four years? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, here we go again. We've just learnt Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. I'm Next guessing she's back. top of her class. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Ooh. We're going outside. So I, just, I did just see a hint that if you press L3, I can actually lock on to targets and stuff. I guess I want to get better combos and Ooh. I've always found that, that fun goes hand in hand hook? with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> da, da, da. So what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Oh, it's a thingy board. <laughs> so pull the balls towards us. Start us off. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> okay. We want to do Akio. Very simply, cast Akio on one of your spears and relinquish. Very good. Damn. Now, uh, think of this like gobstone. Excellent control there. Uh, uh. Not to worry. Damn it. That's it. Damn, I didn't get a 50 though. I'm very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student oh, a God, bit of a challenge? Oh god, she's going to beat me. Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Look at everyone just kind yes, of sir. sitting and chilling around. Right, so Natty, Natty's going first. Oh, she's got a 50. He's... 
God damn it. That is how it's done. Akio. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That works. You got a 30. Well done. Here oh. we go. Let's hold on to this one. Wait, can she she might be able to push my ball in? Right, let's do this. Akio. Excellent control there. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> Natty. I thought she would have done better than that, but being top of the class. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Hey. Whoa. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see <laughs> this. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That is how All right. it's done. My turn. Happens to the best of us. I made it through, but I forgot what to let go. <laughs> I forgot to let go. Oh, is she gonna get hit by it? She did. Wait. Damn it. There we go. Uh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes. Perfect. Okay, if she, she, I can't let her get a 50 now. Here we go. Shh, chicken nuggets. Oh, no, she's going to hit that one into the 50. Oh, this is not good. I need to get the 50 now. I'm very competitive, as you can tell. Akio. Okay, that's 1-1. One, one. Best of three. Best of three. Please. Very good, both <laughs> of you. Well done. I want to I wanna do, wanna do another one. Trust me to say that, and then hit the block. The block doesn't move as fast as what it did for the all the other times. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Yeah, but you lost the first round. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu? My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school oh, in Uganda. a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Oh. So, yes. Bigger than Hogwarts. That's why I've but never, never heard of it. <laughs> intimidating or overwhelming to me. It's a fictional it place. Like home. <laughs> is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is? That's here? a pretty good question, mm, to be honest. Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Huh. 
You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> it's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. I kind of like Natty. She's pretty cool. Of course. You can use Akio on humans. A word, if, if you would. so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Ooh. Quest complete, charms class. Hell yeah. I'm a level two. Hello there. Hi. You're the new student, aren't you? Hi, Samantha. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. From Ravenclaw. About. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <clears throat> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Professor Ronan. All I'm thinking about is Ronan from Twitch chat every time we talk about it. <laughs> Hi, Ronan. <laughs> You're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hey there. Oh, God, we get to straw come. The purring. Wow. And there's a the chest around here. The oh, what is this? In the Goblin Rebellion of Reveal. The Minister for Magic oh. was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It's like a door. Okay, so... I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Be Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. <laughs> it was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Peeves is... Is is nuts. Okay, so let's look at this. So we have a number in the middle, which I'm guessing three outer numbers equal the inner number. Um, we have the numbers. We can see that there's a number missing. So we can see three, zero, something is going to equal five. So we need to do a symbol, which I'm guessing is these two here. So we've got the one question mark here, which is for the top one. The two question mark one, which is for the bottom one. And we just need to find out what each symbol is. So, for example, we have these symbols around. So, let's score one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, let's kind of go with that. So, if we go with the unicorn is two. Obviously, 4 plus 2 is 6, which means 
the six symbol is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like a scarab kind of thing. And that goes onto this. This one. That. And then if we go with three, zero, we need a two, which will be one, two, which will be a unicorn. Oh, God, the cat's in the way. Cat, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. What are you doing? So we'll go with the unicorn. Okay, a unicorn's not here. So if a unicorn's not there, maybe these are not in numbers of... Um, let's go with zero, one, two. So let's go with zero, one, two, which will mean whatever that is, because that's on there, isn't it? That, is it a dragon or a drake or something? That. So it's zero, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which then also means this symbol over here is wrong. Because unicorn will equal one. So that'd be five. So then we need number seven, which will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is the octopus looking thing. That. All right, open. Oh! Oh, yeah. Nice. So it doesn't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Gold rimmed half moon spectacles. Nice. So these are kind of like loot rooms. Dwellings. Beautiful. What's in here? Level 1 lock. So we've not le we've not unlocked the uh, that ability yet. Okay, so let's set a direction for our next class. Side quests are now available. Available side quests uh, can be found inside regions of Hogwarts, marked as a black flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but do not advance the main story, of course. So we've got a side quest over here. What is this? Let's select that, and that's the library there, isn't it? No, that's Central Hall. Uh, portions Classroom, Library. Okay, so let's set a waypoint, and let's take a little trip. There's a chest here, apparently. Wait, or is that... Oh, it's upstairs. Okay, maybe we'll come back to it. And let's just find our way this way. So, because we've marked a location, it's coming up as purple. But we've also got Akio now as well. Oh, wait. This way. Hello. Can we interact with these? Akio. Shook the painting. I keep thinking I can just like press a button and open the door, but you don't. You just run into them. So there is a bit of an optimiz optimization thing I've noticed. As soon as you run through any form of in, in game door, the lighting or all that kind of stuff, as you can see, it kind of goes from shadow to... Oh, wait a minute. Can I accio that? Where did that page go? Can I go down a layer? Whoa. Oh, it's him playing the music. Revelio. <laughs> we got two, which means we just unlocked the glasses, right? My favorite room in the school is oh, library. What it's am I missing? Oh. Revelio. 
Lumos. Lumos? Wait a minute. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's, it's potty this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. Well, we've already unlocked one of them. We kind of know how they work. Long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Just do come Lumos. and find me if you stumble on something. That you. spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's oh. nearby. So the clues. So that's like bottom of the stairs, red banister, which looks like. Up here. Revelio. No. There's a couple of stairs. I thought your mother was nice. She is. But it's my baby. Wait, there's the clock. Wait, it's down. Oh my god, it's showing me the location. Bloody spoon. Hence the reason, hence my surname. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> so now we're going to take this moth over to the frame, put it back in there to complete the image and give us the... Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Nice. So we didn't do the other one then. So that other one we did, we didn't technically... Wait, did we? I can't remember. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? You How? did? I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. So you can choose in the dialogue Whoa. if you actually want to... I should have seen that. Oh. Cobalt Regala. A robe. Can I change this on the fly? Gear. So we've got some new glasses. We've got these ones. Didn't we... Wait, neckwear. Oh, I've got a scarf. Got a scarf on. Cloaks and robes. We've only got the one. Outfit. Only got the one. Any headwear. Oh, we've got a... <laughs> we've got a little, a little father's hat. Any gloves? We've got gloves as well. Nice. So flying mounts obviously locked. Brooms are locked. Um, let's go over to our collections because we should have. Wait. No, this is. Oh, challenges. Sorry. Uh, the field guide, right? Because we did unlock these. So we can claim the rewards and collect eight field guides to unlock uh, Hogwarts regalia gloves. So we need to find eight more pages. And then we've got these quests. So we got some more gloves and a legendary clip. Complete four main story quests. Complete three side relationship quests for a bookish half rim spectacles. Okay, cool. I like I like all this them sort of rewards. We got all of these as well. Hogsmeade. So oh god. So, okay, so in Hogwarts there's a we've got to find all of these paintings and stuff. The thing is, though, I've got to get rid of these exclamation marks, you know. Because if I don't... So where do we use these robes? An assemble for those pose and refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. 
Cosmetic alterations apply to gear via the Change Appearance option in Gear Menu. Appearances in the list are, are, are rewards for special accomplishments such as challenges. Okay. So we can just go to the inventory and we can change the appearance of something, even though so, kind of like what Destiny does in any uh, RPG or MMORPG, where you still get the inventory buffs, but it just changes your appearance of them. So if I go into here, and I should be able to do, yeah, change appearance, I can now change the appearance to this, which I believe is from the Deluxe Edition. That's a cool ass robe. And then you get your traditional school robe. I'm gonna use this one. Invisible robes? Oh, so I can take it off. That's cool. So what else have we got here? Change appearance of the scarf. Put this scarf on. What about the outfit? Oh, there's the robes. Oh, I kind of like the black outfit. Kind of like the black outfit. <laughs> I like how it's animated. Oh, and there's the... The mask as well. Oh, this is cool. I'm thinking I'm just going to go with full black. I think we're... Do I wear the mask or do we hide the mask? I don't think the mask gives us any buffs, right? So we can sell the hat if we wanted to. Even though we unlocked it, we can actually sell it for 30 gold. And we can see that I've got 215 health, 3 defense, and 0 offense. Ooh. Okay. This is going to become an achievement hunter. So we do need to go for the quest against the Dark Arts. So we've got that. We've got another collection in here somewhere. This one, which is exploration. Home is where the heart is, and these dwellings can be placed in your vivarium. And we know what the vivariums do, which we've not unlocked yet. But if you don't know, I will leave that until we get it. So I wanted to head to the the library, didn't I? Yes. Then I wouldn't need my own room. So, wait, is purple kind of blended in with the gold here? I don't... Oh, oh, another door, another door, another door. So what have we got? Okay, so we have crab and squiddy thing. So squ squiddy thing... Wait, no, that's a hydra, isn't it? That's a hydra and a crab. So zero, one... So one, two, three, four, five... Uh, 5 plus 9, 14, which means we need a 3. So that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, which will be a serpent thing. Where There should be a double question mark somewhere. Wait, this is locked. Wait, there's that question. Where's the other one? Is it locked in there? Or is it somewhere else? I'm confused. Did it, was there just... Oh, it's upstairs. So, wait a minute. Please hold. I need a three, right? So it's zero, one, two, three is the Hydra thing. So it's up here. And then I change this to that. And then the top one is 11 plus uh, 2, 13, which means we need 8, which will be a spider. There we go. Nice! Protego. Oh. I keep pressing triangles, Hunter. Gold dragon eyed spectacles. And a mounted house health eds. Interesting. What's this? Wait, there's nothing else in there, is there? There's not just three chests or anything up above that I can grab with Akio. 
Doesn't seem like it. Can I not select this mission here? Because I am running the wrong way for my... Ah, the primary one took over. Okay. So I'll go through here. And this is the library? Hello? Okay, so there's somebody in here who wants... Who's got a mission for me. The question is... Is who is it? So it's just showing me here. Can I... Flying off the shelves. Oh. They're there. They're not in the library. It says near the library. Two flames. Okay, so she should be over here. Excuse me. But this is really nice. Wait, they are in the library. Wait, are they? They're not. Can I jump down here? I can't jump down. Nope. <laughs> I tried. Oh, you're right here. Hello. I really have no Oh, it's Cressida. Is everything all right? <laughs> oh, hello. Me just nice chilling in my mask. Again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Uh, seems a lot of work just to carry books. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, <laughs> she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious. Her accent's to way too close to around. home. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I need to take this mask off. I need to take this mask off. I suppose off. I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. First of all, let's change my uh, gear here, because this this mask is uh, is a, is a no no for me. I'm gonna dragon eyes. I'm gonna dragon eyes. <laughs> Let's go with these. Let's go with them. I'm okay with them. You know? It's crazy to think how people actually were these, you know? What about the hat? Maybe maybe I don't like the hat. We've got that one and we've got a standard grey one. But we could go with a... You know what? I'm going to go with a cap. Why not? Okay. So we've got to go to the library. And... Do this mission. So, in here. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. The Library of Hogwarts. Akio! Gotta Got grab it. these books. Only four more to go. Where are they? Akio! Two. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. 
That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about portions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I brought Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although I still prefer meat pie. <laughs> well, I know you shouldn't read the diary, but we did. Uh, so we've got how many books? Three, three more books to grab. Let's have a look upstairs. One more book. It could be below me for all I'm all I know, you know. Get a good look from up here. There it is. There we go. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. To Cressida. I've collected all of Cressida Bloom's flying books. I should return to them uh, to her in the central hall. So think about it, right? You could actually lose yourself in this place if you had no UI or didn't use anything. I think it'd be kind of nice to kind of learn the way around. What the hell? You okay over there? I don't think you should be moonwalking, right? Are you... Yeah, you're stuck. <laughs> Day one issues. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, Would it read a relief. it? Would it read it? Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. P perhaps a war reward to keep the diaries a secret. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. <laughs> I'm only joking. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the mean. library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Okay, I think it's time Some people are trustworthy. to head to our next class. It is time to go to the defense against the Dark Orcs. We need to go to the defense against the Dark Orcs tower. Okay, we can walk through doors now. It's not a problem. If it was any other game, it would be, be weird. In a game that's got wizardry, a little bit different. Oh, can we... Revelio. Okay. I need to use Revelio a lot, right? Because it highlights items. There's something dinging, but I don't know if that's just the spell. What are them? That's just, that's just freaky. Oh. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Imagine doing that to a, a, a child, like, to, in today's, right? You won't be able to do that. They'll get told to help and say, no, they, they might fall and break their ankle. <laughs> like a scythe, that. Levioso. Why is it not Wingardian Levioso? I guess they want to use quick, now, snappy turn things for the game. A larger. Oh, hello. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Mm -hmm. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master so this, is, this basic so move is to get rid of anybody with shields. Earlier. Levioso, go! Now, well done. <laughs> Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, good form. I know. Levioso. And knocked him off the table. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Is this meant to be like the Malfoy of this game? I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Mm -hmm. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever is more another. likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. I feel, it looks a little weird, doesn't it, oh, when I'm right. inside That's Hogwarts with my scarf on and everything? Class I feel like I should be wearing them whilst I'm out and about and traveling. You know what I mean? Maybe I'd do that. Maybe when I'm out and about and traveling and stuff, I put my hat on. Right? Technically, we could just hide it. And then, same with our gloves. We can just hide it. And then our scarf. We just hide it. There we go. Now I look like Mortimer from The Sims. <laughs> like his son. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, it was. Never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. 
Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh! Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's That's joining true. a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Nice. Till next time. Okay, so... I need to... I need to disengage that. Okay. Benskin's The Dark Arts quest completed. We are now level... Nearly level four. Okay. Um... What have we got around us now? Oh, we've got a side mission over here. Who's this? Cross Wands. Oh, this is uh, Luke and Butterby. This is regarding the um, the duel. Let's go over to this guy. And do our first duel. See if we can get any goodies. And get us to level 4 as well. Where she said I could swim, did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. These peas will make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. <laughs> to draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Whee! I'll get you for this. I don't know if he's got something to do with the story or not, but he's just randomly coming up into places and. getting involved with a bit of a story. Revelio. It's very clever how they've in oh. It's very clever how they've integrated the uh Lumos. Protego. Nope. Revelio. Oh there we go. Map of uh Argyleshire. This map uh depicts Argyleshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides. Hebrides. Native home of the Hebro he Hebridean Black Dragon. Interesting. Hey, we've got level four. Is this where the dueling's going down over here? Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Nice. What are these? Revelio. Lumos. No, could not do anything with this. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Oh. That worked. Can I help you? Lucan, hello. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not. I feel a bad like I'm being a bit either. too soft with everybody. Imagine too it's quite nice. To see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. 
It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Okay. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Sure. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! They just can randomly put me against someone? We'll make you regret signing up. God. Initiate round. Break through yellow shields uh, with control spells like the uh, uh, so, uh, lock on thing uh, enemies uh, without aiming. Uh, lets you track enemies without aiming. Use uh, to change targets between. Okay. Lumos, Levioso. Lumos. <laughs> I'm the one. Oh, I think I've killed him. Okay. That was a little messy, but it was my first fight. And I didn't know I can roll until in that. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. So I, I didn't know champion. I could roll <laughs> until I pressed uh, right trigger and circle at the same time as... I may have something lined up to do Malevi also. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. <laughs> okay, I, th I think again. I think that right there is a good time to end this video. Obviously, we've got some classes done, we've got some a little bit of challenges done, and did a little bit of combat within the duel in and all that kind of stuff. So next time, I think it's gonna we're gonna be heading to Hogsmeade, uh, if I'm not mistaken, with the next mission. So check out my other content right here. And if you are obviously liking it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And as always, keep smiling.